Hey Simlies, it's Dilly Grissy here with Let's Play The Sims 4, Barbie Season 3, Episode 19. And here Barbie is looking after a little toddler twin. Aw, so cute. In the bathtub. Uh, Topaz is calling by yet again. He's always mooching after his parents. <laughs> Flint's in the bathtub. Uh, we've made over the family, so they've got some new clothes as well, which is nice. And Ken is going to potty train um, Jasper. I always get their names modeled up. And where is Topaz? Oh, grade boost. A big unit test is coming up in history class. Pearl's been doing okay, but a good score would really boost her overall grade. Should, should she do an usual amount of studying or study as much as she can? I think Pearl is definitely the kind of sim to study a lot for things like she'd really want to try hard at school oh let's watch him be potty trains I hope you guys had a really good Easter weekend by the way I uh, hung out with a little two-year-old who was on my snapchat a lot Charlie and he was so cute um, but oh my gosh kids and toddlers take so much time and effort to look after like so much energy Sorry, I feel like I'm happy looking after toddlers in The Sims 4. That's fine. Uh, yeah, Ruby can invite over. Um, can invite over a classmate. And uh, a lot of you guys are saying, please age up Ruby. Yeah, we're going to age up Ruby. Uh, you know, probably in the next, this part, next part, probably next part, we'll look into that. And oh, Onyx, I love his new look. I love this like gamer boy style. It's slightly geeky, but at the same time, he's... You know, he looks cute though. I think he still looks nice. Um, he looks like a teen, you know? Oh, Barbie's getting into Ken's bowling. She'd be so happy about that. Okay, Ruby, how's her mood going? Her mood's actually not too crazy bad, but how's our relationship with Marco? Because one thing I do want to do is when she ages up, I really want this relationship to take place. Okay, so she's quite friendly with Marco. I think we'll go over here and... Um, right in the day his day or something why is she embarrassed oh from grade reduction oh my god that's bad oh hi girl megan she looks like a nice girl Ooh, we should get onyx to talk to megan bobby should be like go in there and introduce yourself to ruby's friends she looks like a nice girl where's topaz where is he he's been hanging out somewhere i don't know some of the bowling clubs still over Actually, Topaz, before I started recording, he actually came over with a coffee in his hand. I was like, that's so awesome. I've never seen a sim, like, visit with a coffee. Love it. Uh, oh, my God. I thought that was Ken for a second, and I was about to freak out. I was like, when did he age up? Ew, Ken. Well, that's what we have a maid for. Um, teach basic needs. There we go. We just want some time with the kids, you know. Um, Onyx, talking to Megan. What's our relationship like? It's pretty, uh, pretty low. Share brilliant ideas. You know, use your geekiness and intelligence to impress this pretty girl. Bright and day. Oh my god, so cute. So cute. It's game night. Oh god, Topaz is the funniest guy. He just hangs at this house, like, literally all the time. So funny. Uh, Ruby, are you going to talk to Marco? Wait, where did Marco go? Marco! Hello. I love that game so much. Oh, he's in here? Yeah, he's cleaning up. He's like, why? <laughs> oh my gosh. Now, remember, um, Pearl's feeling really tense from school. Let's get Pearl to speak with Marco. Let's, um... Because remember, Ruby's going to be very jealous of Pearl when she thinks Marco likes Pearl more than her. And we had a little storyline that Ruby would cut off Pearl's hair while she was sleeping. And Pearl would be really upset because she was jealous. Promoted to assistant manager! Yay! He'll now make an additional 12 simoleons per hour for a grand total of 35 per hour. Aww. He can brag about his job. Congratulations, Jam. He's been working hard for that. Oh, God. Oh, my God. They are way too close for comfort right now. You know what? Can we, like, um, can we, like, take this somewhere else? I feel like this is a little bit too close. Uh, chat here. There we go. We'll get them in here. And then maybe Ruby can walk in on them. <gasps> and he's a perfectionist, too. And they're both, like, really clean. 
Uh, Jem looks exhausted. He actually looks kind of terrible. So let's get him to go nap. Um, we'll just get him to go to sleep straight away. Please sleep and don't nap. Oh, no, 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 no. We want... I know I said nap, but I really did mean to sleep. Okay, so Ruby can maybe go get something from the fridge. Uh, okay, so she's going to talk. Over here? Is he going to follow her? Oh, he better. I know he's got work to do, but, you know, I feel like... Oh, she's taking a selfie. Pearl's feeling good. Pearl's so, like, pretty and perfect, and Ruby would... Like, it would infuriate Ruby. Maybe she can show off her outfit because she just got a makeover. And Ruby can get really jealous when she's trying to make herself some microwave pastry. Okay. Because he won't make food for her. Okay, let's go over here. Show off outfit. Oh, no. He's going to go outside. Or he's going to come inside. Oh, well, Ruby can still see from inside anyways. <laughs> And then she can talk about vegetarian benefits and tell engaging story. And then maybe friendly ask about woohoo. No, that's a little bit inappropriate. I don't think. Maybe she can express admiration to him and Ruby would be like, excuse me? I'm get her to walk here and she'll get really angry. I mean, maybe she... Oh, maybe they can take a picture together. And Ruby, like, walks over and she's like, what? Why are you taking a picture with her? And she can... And then Pearl can put it on her Instagram. Best butler ever. And Ruby would be like, oh, bish, please. He's mine. Maybe express admiration. Ruby's like, um... <laughs> Just watching them. Like, I see what's going on here. Full of jealousy. Let's get her to go over here and be mean to her. Yell at. Mock outfit. This is what a girl said to me in high school. She literally said to me at a party in front of people. She was like, fix your hair. You look like a rat. <laughs> So that's what exactly what she'll say to her. Damn, Ruby, so jealous. And he's like, this is awkward. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh dear. Maybe he should like bail. He's like, I'm going to go make some dinner. Maybe we'll get Barbie to, um, oh, Pearl's gone. Is she going to do an angry poop? You go, girl. You do what you got to do. I should really get going now. Oh, on X. Uh, maybe she can enthuse about her meal and be like, look, I can cook vegetarian meals too, Marco. <laughs> Onyx, do you have a crush on Megan? I feel like he's nodding. I mean, they only know each other a little bit, but maybe he could send her a nice little text or something. Yeah, just send a text. Maybe call her about a school project as well. He could be like, oh, I can call you about my notes later if you like. <laughs> Cute. Oh, this is such an awkward little triangle right here. Okay, so let's see how everyone's feeling. Uh, maybe I feel like we need to get Marco to do some cooking. So let's go more choices. Butler. Assign task. Burn up the dance floor. Cook a family meal, please. Oh, actually, he should really cook a party meal because there's so many people in this in this place. Oh, my God, he's making a drink. Cute. <laughs> uh, assign task. Cook party meal, please. There we go. She loves getting his attention, so she'd like always ask for him to do stuff. Like, Marco, can you please do this for me? Thank you so much. <sighs> I feel like I would really not like Ruby in real life. I don't know about you guys, but I'm not about Ruby. Who is this? Lance Abraham looks like the perfect friend for Ken. He actually looks like a Ken double. Okay, how's everyone going? How are the toddlers going? Are they asleep in bed? Uh, no, they're just... They're very sad from having a nightmare. Aww. Okay, let's calm you down. Let's read you to sleep. Oh, he's about to pee his pants. That's all right. 
so stern? Oh. Like Ike? What? He doesn't like him. Damn, Jasper's sassy. Okay, so how is Jasper? He's hungry. So Barbie, you need to take care of your child. <laughs> um, let's, you know what? Let's get all the family downstairs. We're all going to have a meal. Uh, and we'll get the kids fed too. So give food to Jasper. Um, let's get... Ooh, none of these are healthy. Let's do this. Oh, they're both really hungry. And then Ken. I feel like Ken can... Oh, no. Uh, wait, which chair did I click on? Give food from inventory. Give food to Flint. He can have applesauce, because applesauce baby food is the bomb diggity. Love it. Okay. Where did she just pull that from? Oh. What? So confused right now. So wait, but the kids need to be put in here. Eat applesauce. Critically low hunger. Oh, gee, I, uh, okay, okay, okay. Ken, pick up. I'm still a little bit like slow at looking after toddlers. Like I kind of feel like I get confused with some of the commands. So let's put, let's put down. Oh shoot, no, 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 no. Oh God, oh God, okay. Put down <laughs> Jasper. This is the problem with having twins. <laughs> So confusing. All right, Marco, did you finish the food? Okay, Ruby just needs to go to the toilet, so she can do that. Pearl is hungry, so she can grab a serving of this. Uh, let's get Barbie to have a serving too. Uh, Gems had his nap, so he can get a serving. Oh, it's gonna be a family meal. How nice is that? I love family dinners. I mean, it's a pretty late dinner. <laughs> Okay, she's very sad from being, oh no, she's a vegetarian eating meat. She's so guilty, but she was so hungry. And she's broken hearted. Oh, it's not very nice. Why is he, where is this kid? Why, no, oh my God. You know what? Ken, look after your kid, please. Put Flint in the chair. Please eat the applesauce. Like, like your kids are going to be taken away from you at this point. God, they're such cute little kids. Aren't they gorgeous? Oh, the twins are so cute. All right, family meal. No, Ken, Ken, Ken. Kids before you, okay? You've got to get him to look after the kids more, I swear. Ken? Please get, get your child. Oh, Pearl's suddenly feeling some serious upset stomach. She may have eaten something made with meat. Ooh. Yeah, but I didn't... I'm sorry. I didn't realize Pearl. <laughs> she probably ate it accidentally and then realized and then felt sick and was like, oh my God, I can't believe I just ate that. Okay, so Barbie's feeling full again. Uh, let's get this little pumpkin pie to bed. Put Jasper into bed. Okay. Um, let's actually, I think because she's so tired. Put Jasper to bed. No, stop grabbing the kid out of the high chair. Oh my God. Can he just grab it off the high chair? Can he reach that? Oh my gosh. Please, please put, just put him down. Please just let him eat. Let the child eat for God's sakes. Look at them all crowding around him. Okay, good. Onyx is putting him to bed. Oh, thank God someone in the family knows how to look after children. Okay, honey buns, you eat up. No one take him out of the high chair. Pearl, you can go to sleep. 
Onyx, uh, once he puts this little Taka into bed, you can go to bed too. Oh, wow. It is hard. Aw, Onyx. Oh, my God. I love Onyx. He's so sweet. Oh, wow. That duck is literally swimming in that blue. Awesome. <laughs> Cute. All right. Off to bed, young chap. No. Don't. What? Why do they keep picking the toddlers up? It's really infuriating. It's like I have to tell them every single thing that they have to do. Don't pick up the toddler. Let the toddler eat. Okay, now Pearl, you can put him to bed. Okay. Put Flint to sleep. Is is he feeling okay? Oh, uh, actually. You know what, Pearl? I might get you to potty train Flint before he goes to bed. That's probably a good idea. I know she's tired. I know it's one in the morning. <laughs> but you know what? It's okay. Yeah. Excellent. Okay, she's gonna potty train him. Bedtime. Oh. What's ah, oh, he's in the man bath. He just needed to chill out for a second, didn't he? Good on you, Gem. Good on you. He he's been taught well by Ken. Uh -huh. All right, I love it like how Ken's having his mandate with his buddies. So cute. All right, let's get Ken to go to bed as well. And then I think once this little guy's done his potty training, uh, we can put Pearl to bed and then maybe during the night something might happen. Whoa, hello. Oh, he is so keen on Pearl. She's like, do you want me to take care of her? Take care of him? She's like, no, it's okay. She's kind of oblivious. Ew! <laughs> Yuck! Toddler farts. Gross. Oh my gosh. Good boy. Such a good boy. Okay, let's put Flint to sleep. And then, damn, we've looked. We've actually managed to look after the entire family. Okay, Ken wants to put him to bed. Whatever. Just someone put Flint to sleep. It's just. Exhausting. It's like, I don't want to go to bed. Okay, go to bed. Jem is going to bed. And then Pearl, please go to bed. And then I think everyone can chill. I love how they still have friends over. They like just, they probably don't even realize who is in their house. I'm not sure what Pearl's doing, but she's kind of annoying me right now. Honey, is she stuck? Go here, girl. Oh, no, she's fine. She is fine. Oh, and look how close her bedroom is to Marco's. Damn, girl. All right, let's get Ruby. Let's wake up, Ruby. Let's turn auto lights on, too. Okay, let's get Ruby to, like, creep in here. She's gonna be so annoyed that Pearl got attention from Marco and she's during the night at like four in the morning sneaking downstairs. Oh, she's such a mean sister. Oh, and Marco's probably seen that she's up. She's like, I'm just getting a glass of milk, Marco. Look at her strut as well. Oh my God. And she's gonna go in here. Who's that guy? Oh, that's why he stayed at their house for so long. <laughs> oh, she's like laughing evilly.
So Pearl is not happy that Ruby has cut her hair and before school is definitely having a go at her and being like, how could you do that? And you know what? I actually quite like my hair because I was going to cut it anyway, but you are the most awful sister and most disliked person of this entire family. Marco would never like someone like you. So let's just yell at her a little bit more. <laughs> it's funny because she's actually technically feeling a bit flirty. But yeah, we'll just get Ruby to totally go off at her as well. She's going to insult her face. Oh my god, chew out. And these girls are going to become enemies, I reckon. Right before Ruby ages up. Oh my gosh. She's like, you know what? I like my short hair. And you know what? Who else is going to really like it? I think I'm going to post a picture and tag or Snapchat Marco. She'll make Ruby even more angry. Be like, you dress like a 50-year-old. No wonder you have no friends. Okay, what else can we do? Um, Throw drink. I can't believe... Fight! Oh my god, yeah. And then we'll get Barbie and Ken to come down. And be like, why aren't you guys at school? <gasps> oh my god. Can't believe Ruby just did that. I don't know where she pulled that from, but girl. Damn. It's like her morning coffee. They've gone a bit cold. Surely she wouldn't pour boiling water over her sister. Oh my god. Sisters at fight. Pearl would never fight someone either. And it's like in public. Barbie would be so embarrassed about her kids. About her daughters. <gasps> Oh my gosh. And Ruby won. I mean, I'm not surprised that Ruby won. Oh, she's like, where are the girls? I swear I heard something downstairs. Oh my gosh. So Barbie can quickly compliment her outfit. She'd be like, look, Pearl, you look great. Oh, and Ruby just left. She's gone to nap in her bed. You know what? She should go to school. And Barbie will, oh, no, 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 actually, no, she should not go to high school. Oh, no, she's going to high school. I was going to say, Barbie should call off her birthday party and be like, you're not having a birthday party. You will have a family party at home after what you did to your sister. Pearl's just telling her mom exactly what happened. And Barbie's like, I'm so sorry, Pearl. But, you know, Ruby, she gets, she gets very, very jealous. I was like, oh, I'm so tired now. And I'm missing school. I'm missing a test. Oh, dear. Barbie's going to have to call up that party of Ruby's. My goodness me. And uh, you know what? Let's get her to go to the toilet, have something to eat. Same as Ken. Ken actually needs to really <laughs> take care of himself. And the little kids are still in bed, aren't they? Oh, my gosh. They're so precious. I'm sure they'll get along a lot better than the girls. <laughs> But anyways, you guys, I'm going to leave this part right here. I hope you enjoyed the drama in the Barbie household. But yeah, I hope you're having a lovely morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you are in the world. I'll speak to you soon.